Hey guys, Taywas here, back with some more Iron Sight. Today we're going to be revisiting the MG3. After the cruise patch, the MG3 is no longer the same gun. Let's see if I still feel the same way about it as I did in my last review. Like I just said, the MG3 has been rebalanced, and now is kind of a monster. I mentioned this in my previous video, which breaks down all the new stuff in this update, but the MG3 has received an increase in the damage multiplier for shoulders and arm shots, and some of the stats have been changed as well. They've increased the damage stat from 30 to 32, decreased accuracy from 73 to 64, increased rate of fire from 83 to 94, and increased recoil control from 45 to 46. So, what does all this mean? Well, the main idea was to try to balance the LMGs out as a whole. Because of the LMG's recoil, most of the shots on an LMG would end up hitting the arms, shoulders, and legs, so you wouldn't be doing the maximum amount of damage as you should from the body shots. They've tried to balance that out on this gun specifically with the shoulder and arm damage multiplier increase. Apart from the multiplier, they've also increased its damage and recoil control a little bit, which I personally didn't notice too much. However, something I did notice is after about 2 seconds of continuous fire, the MG3 starts to level out and turn into a death laser. Now to me, one of the most noticeable changes was the increase of fire rate from 83 to 94. This thing really is a buzzsaw now. For certain game modes such as resource takeover and secure point, where you have to get close to your opponents, this gun with a laser sight is a shredder. It just melts people, man. So what do I think of it now, after the balance? Well, I really, really like it. They've done a great job making it usable, but also difficult enough to where I, it isn't the most OP gun in the game. At range, it still has its faults, and occasionally kicks like a mule, ascending your first shot off to the left or right, making you have to line back up to continue firing. But that's an LMG, they're big, bad, and kick like a freight train. Previously, when I used the MG3, I absolutely hated it. I'm not sure what it was, but the gun felt terrible to me. Now though, I actually enjoyed using it. It was a fun experience, I didn't feel incredibly overpowered at any point, but they still have a really slow reload speed, but that's to be expected with an LMG. So because they lowered the accuracy stat by 9 points, I wouldn't really recommend trying this gun out at really long ranges anymore. The bullets kinda do their own thing and go where they want to. I'd stick to close to medium ranges and really try aiming for the body. You'll probably end up hitting arms and a lot more stomach, but that's compensated for with the increased fire rate, so you, s you should still be able to put them down relatively quick. Have you guys had a chance to try this gun out yet? Drop your comments down below to let me know what you think. Like it? Hate it? I'm curious to know how you feel about the changes. With that being said, if this video helped you at all or you found yourself liking it at any point, please click that little thumbs up button down there. It really helps me out more than you know. And with that being said, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.